Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss area under a curve by integration. Number 16, calculate the area bounded by the curve. Y equals 2. X squared minus 3X minus 4. The lines X equals to negative 2. X equals to 2. And the X axis. Remember to subscribe to this channel. And to also share the link with friends. All right. Uh, the curve has already been plotted for us. We can see it here. Therefore, in case, just to give a caution, in case the curve is not drawn by the examiner, like in our case, make sure you draw it. That will enable you to know how the area is behaving within the provided limits. So between x equals to negative 2 and x equals to 2, the area flows such that under the curve, the area is above the x-axis, but at x equals to negative 1, now we have the area shifting to the lower side of the x-axis. That means you will not integrate once. So the students who will go ahead to integrate this curve or this uh, function right from negative 2 to 2, then they integrate with respect to x, these people will get a 0. But a student who has drawn the curve or who interprets the curve well will integrate twice such that the first area will be gotten between negative 2 and negative 1. Then the other area now from negative 1 all the way to 2. Therefore, we're going to have the first area, let me call it area 1, integrating between negative 2 and negative 1, the function x squared minus a 3x minus 4 with respect to x with respect to x therefore the integral is going to be uh, x assumes power 3 and the 3 divides here then we will have negative 3 x becomes squared and the 2 divides here then negative 4 now takes an x which is to power 1 plus a constant, then the integral is from negative 2 to negative 1. So what we do now, we substitute 1, then we subtract the same function when negative 2 has been substituted. Therefore, we'll have negative 1 cubed out of 3 minus 3 into negative 1 squared out of 2 minus 4 into negative 1 plus a constant then we subtract the same function when we have substituted a negative 2 this one is cubed then minus 3 into negative 2 now squared over 2 minus 4 into negative 2 plus a constant so in the first case when you substitute a negative 1 you're going to get 2 and 1 out of 6 plus c, then minus negative 2 thirds plus a constant. So the constant cancels out, and when you add 2 and a 6, okay, this is minus negative a third, which makes it a plus, a plus, so plus 2 thirds, you get 2 and 5 out of 6. 2 and 5 out of 6 square units is the first area then now there is the second area whereby we need to integrate now the same function but now from negative one all the way to positive two therefore from negative one to positive two the same function x squared minus three x minus four with respect to x so that we get x power three over three minus 3 over 2x squared minus 4x plus a constant, then it's from negative 1 to positive 2. When you substitute positive 2, you're going to get a, okay, let me write the substitution first. So we're going to have 2 power 3 out of 3 minus a 3 over 2, then a, now 2 is squared minus 4, 2, plus a constant 
then minus the same function we substitute negative one and when negative one has been substituted we know that uh, we get a two and a six we get two and a sixth plus a constant that is when negative one has been substituted because we had already worked it out there so when we substitute a uh, positive two we're going to get negative 11 and uh, negative 11 and a third plus c minus two a sixth plus c therefore in this case now the c will cancel and the area will be negative 13 and half the negative here is to mean that uh, the area is on the lower side of the x-axis that is why it is bearing a negative therefore the area two is now the absolute value of this which gives us 13 and half square units this means now we can get the total area a whereby we take area one area two so we having area one as two and uh, two and five over six then we add area two which is 13 and one over two this will give us a total of 16 and a third 16 and a third square units so this will be the total area bounded by the curve and the provided limits thank you for following subscribe and share